Hi, Misha here, and it's time to revisit a gun that both Jay and I have owned for a good number of years, and both thoroughly enjoy for oh so many reasons. It was a really nice day today. One of those few days where the uh, actual weather was better than the forecast. So we took a range trip. And with us, we brought our Pakistani Ordnance Factory POF MP5s. There are essentially three versions, all very similar, that have been imported of this pistol. They've been coming into the country since the first half, late spring, early summer of 2014. And a fresh batch just came in. They've been coming in consistently over the last five years, but in always very small numbers. So, who doesn't like to shoot an MP5 and 9mm still good and affordable? Let's uh, skip over to the range. And then we'll come back here and talk a bit at the table. First off, we'll shoot the full size. This is how it gets imported. It has the original 8.5 inch, give or take, barrel with 3 lug adapter and threaded half by 28. Comes with a thread protector as well as a little plastic end cap. Standard length caulking tube, standard tropical style, wide style handguard, standard MP5 receiver, because it comes in as a pistol, it has an end cap with sling swivel, although here's mine showing you have some options. I have an A2 buttstock and I get away with that because I have a fake suppressor pinned on. It's on the three lug. And just for fun I brought out kind of the old German straight mags because I don't know I like classics. So let's run a few rounds through it, and then we'll be right back. POF, full size. Donk. POF, full sized. Size. I've had this gun since May of 2014, and in all that time, I I'm sure we've had some jam or failure. I just can't remember any. So if there was one, it must have been very, very minor. It's had several thousands of rounds through it, steel and brass case. The only thing I would suggest with any MP5 type, HK94 type, is to try to use good quality magazines. But that's the case for anything. When I got mine, these just came in a cardboard box. They came with a copy of the original military manual with a small addendum in the back for being a semi-auto and they came with one 30 round curved magazine the newer ones though you get a little extra 
you still get one curved 30 round mag made by POF. These don't routinely come with the 15 round mag, but POF is sending these over and they're very affordable. Which is nice because for a long time the little 15 round mags were actually kind of hard to get for the MP5. So if you live in a state where there's a 15 round limit or you just like going compact, it's an option. You also get the standard clamshell cleaning kit now. I like that these come taped up because you would not believe how often I've received these in the box with HK type guns and they've just popped open because they're just kind of held closed by friction. So good on them for taping it closed. You also get a military three point sling now, which is a nice little add on. And as I showed you, you get this little muzzle cover now. <laughs> This does have the third attachment point for the three-point sling here on the magwell. It has the kind of older style steel lower with the ergonomic grip. Typical diopter sight. Notice the muzzle sticks out as it should. Standard cocking handle. It has the mount on top of the receiver for a claw. And one thing I always liked about these, a lot of your HK guys get real... Anyway, when you call something an MP5 or a G3 or whatever. Well, this is just marked POF for the company, MP5, and then it'll have the year... This one is, I think, 19, excuse me, uh, 2018. Mine would be 2014, of course. So this is the name of the gun, MP5. So not only does it have the authentic markings, this was the first import to come in with the push pin hinged lower. It also has the paddle mag release. The selector, of course, has safe and semi. This has an HK style paint finish. To be fair, the first batch, like mine, the paint finish wasn't properly cured, and so it's not the best, but it's no big deal to repaint these eventually. Maybe one day I will. A lot of people complain that the safeties were stiff. Mine's never really been. And the new ones are definitely not. They're not loose, but they're not stiff. So when these came in, they had a few minor issues, but nothing deal-breaking, in my opinion. And I think POF and the importer have long since corrected them. Well, who is POF? Well, Pakistani Ordnance Factory was set up as kind of a joint project with the British after they left the country. And it basically supplies the military, police, and export customers. They make ammunition artillery, armor, all kinds of stuff. It's a very big organization. And along the way, they purchased a license to manufacture Heckler & Koch products, namely the G3 and the MP5. So HK went over. They provided blueprints, tooling, schematics, and Probably most importantly, they trained the workers at the POF factory. And so this is what is known as a contract gun. Other HK contract guns have come from places like Turkey, 
and Portugal. This means they're made to the proper standard. And speaking of, the POF MP5 is certainly a military grade gun. It may have a few exposed welds and the, the finish is definitely not commercial grade. It's definitely finish on the metal to keep it from rusting. That's the whole point of this gun. And that's why I've always enjoyed it. This is really as close to a military MP5 as we've ever been able to get. This isn't something made with more spit and polish. This is something made in the same factory to the same standards is what they would be supplying to their own armed forces, for better or worse. And in my experience, because these do have looser tolerances than some of your commercial guns, especially a lot of the U.S.-made clones, they're just damn reliable. That's the thing. Looser tolerances can equal better reliability. Not necessarily all the time, of course, but... For guns like this, or AKs, that little bit of extra play and wiggle allows for dirt and debris to collect and not jam up the gun. It also allows for parts to fit and wear in together better. So my experience, these are really a lot of fun. Well, like I said, there's more than one version. Pakistan kind of started off with what we know today as the reverse stretch. They took a full-size receiver and they mated it with a short caulking tube and barrel from the MP5K. So you have the long rear section with the short front with the four and a half inch barrel which allows you to use standard butt stocks or, in the case of this, perhaps arm brace. Now, I have the full size, but Jay has the what is known as the POF SMG PK. So let's show it at the range. POF K. California Legal Mag. POFK. That was the K. So, the PK is also quite reliable and fun and thanks to the current laws and legislation it's perfectly legal to have an arm brace on it and a angled foregrip making it much safer and more controllable and the reverse stretch gives it that little bit extra reliability a little more room for your bolt a little more mass yeah and they did not just do it for us. No, no. That was a version that they did for their own military and police users. Over there, the PK typically is seen with the classic MP5A3 collapsing buttstock. Now, if you notice Jay's, the barrel ends right at the triple frame. There's yet another version, kind of patterned after the MP5K PDW, that's identical to Jay's gun, except it does have the 3 log and half by 28 threads sticking out, therefore has a slightly longer barrel at about 5.9 inches. So it's kind of right in between the two extremes. Now, we don't have one of those between us, so sorry. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you get the idea. 
So you have a few small options. They don't overwhelm you with options, but you have a few. I would say lastly, for what you get is a shooter, and the fact this is a true import. These are about as cheap as a true MP5 clone gets. Now you can get some of the kind of faux MP5s that aren't even roller delay guns. They're just straight blowback. They used to be cheaper. I think, what was it, Vulcan made them? But for an actual roller lock gun, much less a contract one, these are about as cheap as they get. They're around 1500 sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, but in that vicinity. The next step up would probably be like the MKE, the Zenith guns from Turkey, which I do actually have a K of those, and I'm not saying they're bad at all, but they do cost more. They're closer to 17, 1800. And from there, a lot of the US built guns are 2000 plus. And then you get to the HKs, you know, pre-bands are 3000, 4000 plus, and even the more recent HK SP5Ks are about 2500 if you can find them. And what really turns me off to those, they don't have the paddle mag release, they don't have the threaded muzzle, and they don't even have the push pin lower. So yeah, just a gun re-enjoy. And since a fresh batch came in a bit ago, it was a good excuse to take it out to the range. So, if you own a POF or an MKE or whatever else, we'd love to just chat. HK's below. It's just a lot of fun. And uh, always a good thing to share a great day at the range with you fine folks. If you have any questions or comments, please do post them below. And if you could, like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check the link to our Patreon page. This is Misha, and on behalf of Jay, we will both catch you very soon next time. POF full size.